Okay, I'm gonna do this slight, a slightly different video um, instead of the unboxing predictions or boxing review of fights. I'm gonna call this like a thought of the day. Um, Ricky Hatton is due to make his comeback in Manchester, I believe, on November the 24th against Shevchenko, who uh, fought Malinaji. Uh, Malinaji won the world title off. Um, so it's just a thought. Ricky Hatton was blown away by Manny Pacquiao in two rounds. And after that fight, Ricky Hatton, we all know about his out of the ring um, lifestyle, blowing up 20, 30 pounds, um, and even more than that, it's reportedly. Uh, his drinking, binge, his eating habits. Um, so we all know about that, but afterwards, um, his life sort of spiraled out of his his career sort of spiraled out of control. Um, the reports of reports of him wanting to commit suicide and all the rest of it, and of course the Manny Pacquiao fight really hurt Ricky. Now I'm a big fan of Ricky Hatton, and um, I'm just glad that he's making his comeback. It's great to see him coming back in the ring. But being a realist, um, what could happen? What would happen if? The Hatton fight doesn't turn out the way we're expecting it to turn out. What happens if he enters the ring on the night? Too old, too slow, easy to hit, and his chin is less than acceptable. What happens? What happens if he falls apart? He starts fighting well and then falls apart and then gets knocked out. What does that put Ricky Hatton? Now, first of all, getting knocked out in Manchester at home in front of all the crowd, people come and see his comeback, I mean, just devastating, I mean, devastating enough to get knocked out in America against Manny Pacquiao, which was a legend, but to come back and get knocked out by a guy who was a former world champion, okay, but, you know, in Hatton's prime, would probably get blown away, um, I don't know, how would Ricky recover from that? They're all excited, a lot of people excited to him. Ricky's coming back and he's fighting, but what happens if it all goes wrong? What sort of support is Ricky going to have through this? And, you know, it's a, you know, there's a brave call by Ricky to come back. Um, he's obviously not going to be as fast as he was. Um, you know, and the welterweight division, let's remember, Ricky never looked great in the welterweight division. His best work was at in the light welterweight division and the other concern obviously is his lifestyle just because you decide to now lose weight and focus on the comeback fight it doesn't um, delete the fact the way you've abused your body through the years so here's somebody who's coming back into the ring with a body that's been abused how hard abused how, how much of abuse that body has taken over the three years we don't know and no amount of training is going to give us that only fight night are we going to find out what Ricky Hatton's got left. Um, having said that, um, I'm predicting Ricky Hatton to win the fight as he does, getting inside, slipping, getting inside, and uh, body shots stopping Sevchenko within, within six rounds, I think. Um, inside the distance win. Um, that's how I see the fight happening, but... You know, but that's the visions I have of Ricky Hatton. You know, not getting knocked out by Manny Pacquiao, but but then that's that that is the last memory of Ricky Hatton. So I saw the tape recently of him um, preparing, blocking, and moving. He looked good. You'd think Ricky Hatton would be more wiser three years on, but who knows? Well, let me know what you fans think. Are you boxing fans and? And those who always have an opinion, let me know what you think. Just be a realist. This is the Boxing Hangout, and I'm out.